guess it's still that uh, that distorted vocal.
Good evening. Thank you for joining us. Thank you to all the members of Hop Along, who if you came early enough, you saw an excellent band there. And the Apple Seed cast, who just played after Hop Along before us. We also want to welcome a young lady named Brittany to this tour. This is Mike Onquis, um our manager slash tour manager slash art man slash record label slash digital designer slash psychologist slash group therapist <laughs> and um, his lovely wife Brittany. So they're together with us. They just got married a few months ago. So thanks for coming out with us, you guys, both you guys. Okay, well we have a handful more songs for you. And for us, I guess, not just for you. This is for us, this is our daily exercise routine. I stole that from Jack. Okay. Oh, 
story. But I'm so tired. The funny story involves a young man who was over here a few minutes ago. And during a relatively quiet moment in between two songs where I had just gotten finished bastardizing a line from Kierkegaard for the end of one of our songs, and he asked me, so who is Soren Kierkegaard to you? Don't lose sight of the fact that this was in the middle of our show. But I think I even told him, they think it's a strange time to discuss this, but I think he, he was the better man than I, because when isn't it? And, uh, if I were in a clearer place, I probably could have engaged him right then and there. Well, thank you for the good question. And I'm sorry I didn't doubt This same phenomenon goes for whoever was trying to um, interact with me while I was playing pinball earlier. I've got to tell you, that's a lost cause. <laughs> who has the number one and two score on the Adams Family Machine. You'll have some grace with me.
Guido family, several of whom are represented here. There's one. There's one. Spot them from a mile away. They just have a kind of a positive aura for the most part. Okay. Oh, nobody's nerfed, as I always say. Just kidding. <laughs> I never said that. I read it on a hat that Lisa Simpson was wearing. And it was... Okay. I think every we've been playing through this record, and every I think every show on this tour, probably over a weekend, and every show I said something like, "We're playing this whole record, and we're going to play more encore songs if you want." And I realized that, boy, my banter is getting stale, and now the best I can do is like a meta, like half-assed analysis of it. Like, boy, I have nothing new to say every night other than that. You know, to tell you the, the routine. Oh, maybe in a, in a couple more years we could do our 10 year anniversary of that one. I don't, I don't know, that's a big old maybe. That's a big, that's all caps maybe. That's, that's maybe in, in papyrus font with all bold. <laughs> This one's called Son of a Widow.
thank you. Where he gets the spare energy to dance like that, I don't know. The way he's well, we have a few more songs. We have the best. The first one is an energetic one, and then we play some milder ones. <laughs> Thank you. 
the silo, the wondering, the long silence. As he looked out past the honeysuckle field, he watched the water turn, turn the water wheel. Trying to think about his daughter with affection, her reaction of the day in the day. He replaced the blue patch rancher with the climbing frame. As he looked at his sister, looking cold as the snow, knowing well he knows he knows the whole time.
does that mean? Does it mean quiet? I guess I mean in this context, I know the I guess I know the meaning of the word. Well we have a uh, I think one two more. Yeah, look at that. Distance I fear you'd break. But what good's a 